In this video, let's take a look at how to integrate Cisco DNA Center with Umbrella Cloud and also on how to provision a wireless LAN controller with Umbrella Config. This is a brand new feature which is shipping out on Cisco DNA Center release 2.1.1. These are some of the prerequisites that needs to be considered before we start integration of DNA Center with Umbrella Cloud. Let us now go ahead and start integration of DNA Center with Umbrella Cloud. To do that, navigate to System Settings Umbrella Cisco Umbrella generates authentication token and API keys for integration purposes. To get the authentication token and API keys, we will now log into the Umbrella portal. Navigate to Admin API Keys. This page provides the details of authentication token and API keys which were generated by Cisco Umbrella for the integration purposes. These API keys and token needs to be copied manually and paste it onto Cisco DNA Center Umbrella Settings page for the integration to be successful. For the simplicity of this video, I have already established a connection between DNA Center and Umbrella Cloud. In order to validate the integration of Umbrella with DNA Center, navigate to System, System 360. Under Externally Connected Systems, we can add a new dashlet for Umbrella which would provide information on the status of connectivity. Now that we have successfully integrated Umbrella with DNA Center, let us now go ahead and provision a wireless LAN controller with Umbrella Config. To do that, navigate to Provision, Services, Umbrella. Select the site in which you would like to provision Umbrella. Once you click on the site card, you can see the list of devices which are ready for provisioning. Select the wireless LAN controller in which you would like to provision Umbrella and click on Next button. Select the SSIDs in which you would like to configure Umbrella policies. In the current release, you can select either one SSID or all SSIDs. The next step is to retrieve the policies which were configured on the Umbrella portal. In the current release, DNA Center supports provisioning of only default policies on wireless LAN controllers. The next step is to retrieve the internal domains which were configured on the Umbrella portal. The next step is to enable or disable DNS script. The recommendation is to always have DNS script enabled. In the next step, review the configuration summary which will be provisioned onto wireless LAN controllers. Once after review, click on Deploy button. Clicking on Deploy button will provide us an option either to deploy now or later. For the simplicity of this video, we will select the option now and click on Apply button. The following page lets the users know that their workflow is now complete and their deployment is in progress. To view the status of their deployment, click on View Status link. Clicking on the View Status link will take us to the Scheduled Task page to view the status of our Umbrella provisioning workflow. These are some of the commands which can be executed on wireless LAN controllers to check if wireless LAN controllers are registered onto Umbrella Cloud. This completes the integration of Umbrella with Cisco DNA Center. Thanks for watching.